And today I'm delighted to announce that I will ask the Democratic Convention to nominate Geraldine Ferraro of New York to run with me for the White House. I grew up among working people, straightforward, solid Americans trying to make ends meet, trying to bring up their families and leave their country a little bit better off than when they moved here and found it. Those are my values, too. These last few hours, I've got to tell you, I've been on the phone talking with friends and supporters around the country. There's an electricity in the air an excitement, a sense of new possibilities, and of pride. The feminist community, and I think uh, the Democrats in Broward County that I've heard from are just ecstatic over this. Uh, Perhaps no one was more ecstatic over a woman on the Democratic ticket than Democratic women office holders, such as State Senator Gwen Margolis. I think she's a splendid woman, and, and she's done a splendid job in Congress, and, and uh, I'm very pleased. As for Ferraro's comparative lack of experience. There's an interesting experience in raising children, being a mother, <laughs> and doing the kinds of, and, and going through the educational experiences with your children, and, and, and going through the practical everyday living experience in, 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 as far as compassion is concerned. Dade Commissioner Ruth Schack, who's running for mayor, says Ferraro will not only help Mondale, but women candidates everywhere. One hopes that this is but the beginning of some very exciting women who will be showing greater strength in politics in the future. The announcement was only made this morning, but already the Mondale Ferraro buttons are out. Actually, this one was made up for the National Now Convention held here about two weeks ago. Representative Ferraro was a hit at the Now Convention, and today local Now leaders praised her and Mondale. In choosing Geraldine Ferraro as his running mate, Walter Mondale's made the kind of bold, progressive move that will propel the Democratic ticket to victory in November. Yeah, like pointing Sandra Day O'Connor to the Supreme Court. <laughs> How will it all affect the Reagan-Bush campaign for a second term in the fall? Local Republicans want to wait and see, but some see it as further evidence of Mondale's pandering to special interests. Had it not come on the heels of the National Organization of Women Convention and uh, having been threatened with, if you don't put a woman on the ticket, we're going to nominate one from the floor, uh, I would say, well, this is a quality choice of his. But coming right, the timing was just uh, indicative of that. But Ann Wilson, a co-chair of the Reagan-Bush campaign in Dade County, disagrees. Women are not a special interest group. They're the majority in the U.S. of A. So how could it be that way? Some people may use her for an issue, uh, but I don't think the mainstream Republicans will. You don't think Ronald Reagan or George Bush will I would doubt make it. her an issue? I would doubt it. Wilson thinks Ferraro will win votes for the Democrats. Other Republican activists say it's too early to tell. Well, there are voters out there that would simply vote, you know, the, a lot of the feminist groups, they'd be thrilled to have a woman, and I don't think it would matter what woman was on there, but the, I think you have to give the voters more credit than that. I don't like it. Why? Because I don't think it's time for a woman pres vice president now. I don't think it's it. Oh, I think it was a very good selection, and I think it will help his chances to become elected. I think it was a very clever move on his part to... Um, pick a woman to run for vice president. I'm a woman, but I would not vote for a woman. I'm not ready for it yet. I'm happy this lady got it. I really am. And I think it's good that a woman has been chosen to be a running mate. I think she'll be a great asset to the country. Well, I think there's no doubt whatsoever that it's a historical political breakthrough. And I feel that Mondale has made the best choice that he could possibly do among those who he's been interviewing, considering for the vice president position.